Sarah and David, a young couple, were starting a new chapter. They bought an old house, they wanted a fresh start. The house was a historical museum once, it had long hallways, it had dusty rooms. Sarah and David felt excited, they felt hopeful. This house has stories, David said. He held Sarah's hand. They stood in the dusty foyer, sunlight streamed through a stained glass window. The air felt heavy, it felt expectant. Let's make our own, Sarah smiled. Her eyes sparkled with excitement, but deep down a shiver ran down her spine. The house felt strangely watchful. The first few days were filled with unpacking. They brought furniture in. They hung pictures. They tried to make the house their own, but the house resisted. There was a presence. It lingered in the shadows. It whispered in the night. The house was a museum once. It showcased local history. It had relics. It had old photographs. Sarah and David found remnants of its past. They found old pamphlets. They found faded brochures. They discovered the house's rich past. It drew them in. They felt intrigued. One pamphlet talked of a family, the Baileys. They were the original owners. There was a picture. It showed a man, a woman, and a young girl. They were elegantly dressed. They stood on the grand staircase, the same staircase Sarah and David now used. The Baileys. I wonder what happened to them, Sarah muttered. She traced the faces in the picture. David looked up from a dusty book. Lost to time, I guess, he shrugged, but his gaze lingered on the picture. He felt a connection, he couldn't explain it. That night Sarah woke up. She heard music. It was a sad melody. It drifted from the attic. She felt a chill. She went to investigate. The attic was dark. It was dusty. Sarah flipped the light switch. The light flickered. It died. She took a step back. Sarah felt uneasy. Just an old house, she whispered to herself. But her voice shook. Suddenly, a cold breeze swept past her. Papers rustled. A loose floorboard creaked. Sarah turned. She ran. She didn't look back. She didn't sleep that night. She didn't tell David. She didn't want to worry him. The next day, Sarah tried to dismiss it. She told herself it was the wind. It was just the old house settling. But she couldn't shake the feeling. Something was wrong. She started seeing things. Shadows moved in the corner of her eye. Whispers followed her. She felt watched. She felt cold. Section 4. The Lost Love Letters. One day Sarah found a loose floorboard. It was in the attic. Underneath she found a wooden box. It was filled with diaries. They belonged to Amelia Bailey. Amelia wrote about her life. She wrote about her love for a man named Edward. Edward was a soldier. He was fighting in a war. Sarah read the diaries. She felt drawn to Amelia's story. She felt a connection. Sarah told David about the diaries. He was skeptical. He didn't believe in ghosts. But he saw the fear in Sarah's eyes. They read the diaries together. They learned about Amelia's life. They learned about her love for Edward. The entry stopped abruptly. Edward never returned from the war. Amelia was heartbroken. She died young. One night Sarah woke up. She heard crying. It came from the attic. It was Amelia's voice. She went to the attic. David followed close behind. They saw a figure. It was a woman. She was transparent. She was crying. Section 5, Love and Loss. The figure turned. It was Amelia. She looked at Sarah. She reached out. Sarah felt a surge of sadness. She felt Amelia's pain. She understood her loss. David saw it too. He was shocked. He was scared. The diaries were true. Amelia was real. They tried to ignore Amelia. They tried to continue their lives. But Amelia's presence was strong. It was constant. The ghostly events intensified. Objects moved. Temperatures dropped. Sarah and David felt suffocated. Their relationship became strained. They argued more. They drifted apart. One night Sarah found David in the attic. He was reading Amelia's diaries. He looked up at Sarah. His eyes were filled with tears. I understand her pain, he whispered. He was thinking of his own past. He was thinking of his own losses. Section 6. Facing the Echoes. Sarah and David realized something. Amelia wasn't trying to scare them. She was trying to connect. She was lonely. She was heartbroken. She wanted her story heard. They decided to help Amelia. They contacted a local historical society. They told them about Amelia's diaries. The society was fascinated. They helped Sarah and David organize a memorial. It was for Amelia and Edward. They placed Amelia's diaries and a portrait of Edward in a glass case. It was a permanent exhibit in the local museum. The ghostly events stopped. The house felt lighter. It felt peaceful. Sarah and David felt a sense of closure. They learned a valuable lesson. They learned about love. They learned about loss. They learned that sometimes the past needs to be heard. It needs to be acknowledged. 
they found their fresh start, they found it in the echoes of a love story, it was a story that haunted a house, a story that brought them closer than ever.